So I have found a solution to your overheating problems with the Sony A6700 and possibly the Sony ZV-E1 as well. I ordered the Olanzi fan through Amazon which took roughly 5 days to where I live. According to the option on Amazon, the fan is available in black and silver, but I took the black one. So let's open it up together. So of course we have the manual and some stickers, the charging cable and the fan itself, which is even smaller than the power bank. As you can see, it's made of solid metal and not some cheap plastic. On the front, we have this little screen showing the options, the power button which also controls the fan speed and the charging port. And you can really feel the fan blowing from the back. So for those who have problems with overheating with your Sony A6700 and the well-known ZV-E1, this is the Ulanzi Mi Fan. Really tiny fan, as you can see. And this is actually the newer version of the Ulanzi Fan. The older version did not have that spring-loaded thing so you can attach it to your camera. I believe the older version was a, a suction cup so people did have problems keeping it on the back of the camera and eventually it would just fall off. So with this one it's more secure onto the back of your camera. So I do have the A6700 and I did not do a uh, overheating test yet uh, because here where I'm staying the hottest temperature right now is probably around 26 27 I but the temperature do does go up on onto 30s 35 so stand by for those tests when the temperature becomes that high here but for now what I'll do is I'll probably test I'll do an overheating test um, with the fan without the fan in here in my room so the, the temperature here in my room right now is probably around 21 so let's see how that does with the fan or without the fan. So the easiest and simplest way to connect this is you have to get your camera screen open and with the label on the bottom side, the label's on the bottom side, you're just gonna push this one first in, all right? Then just lay it down. The reason that sticks is because these cameras they have like a little latch here, which is for the screen. And the Olanzi mount, yeah, it has a part here, which is perfect for that latch. But once again, push it in, and that's secure. You can't pull it out unless you do that same, same movement in reverse. So when you turn this on, yeah, you will see you will see it has a, a battery indicator, uh, three speeds, zero, one, and two. So off with one and two. And the amazing thing about this Ulanzi fan, beneath that you can see it has a camera temperature indicator. So behind this fan, there is actually a sensor. There's a sensor that tells us what's the temperature of the camera at the moment. So while you're recording, you can monitor what the temperature is you'll you'll know so yeah when you turn it on it's just a long press then to get it working with the first press yeah you saw the fan move that's already speed one press it one more time that goes to speed number two so now let's get on to testing the a6700 with the Ulanzi fan and without the fan and please note all these tests are going to be indoors for the meantime because it is still quite cold outside so it won't be much of a test if i do it outside so for this first test, my settings are, I am in 4K, 25 frames per second, using a 10-bit color profile, and I am in S-Log3. A surprising thing with this test, it seemed to have crossed the uh, normal border of 20 plus minutes, which I've been seeing on YouTube, and it actually reached around 35 minutes, so I actually stopped the recording myself, because most of the recordings that I do for podcasts would reach 30 to 32 minutes at most. So with the second test, I actually put the fan on because I already I was really confident that with the fan on in 24 frames per second, it would go for a long time. So with this test, I put the settings up to 50 frames per second and the fan speed was at number one. 
And for me, I don't think I'll be doing a test for 120, 120 or 100p because I don't think I'll be shooting any videos at that rate. So when we reached around the 10 minute mark, uh, the temperature indicator on the fan was showing that the camera was already at 36 degrees Celsius. So I decided to try to put the fan speed to number two, just to push it to see how long I could go and if I could finish a proper recording of what I usually do, which is like a podcast recording, which is the longest recording which I would do. So the test actually ended around 30 plus minutes. Only The only reason is because the memory card filled up, but there was no overheating indicator. It didn't shut down, didn't overheat. The, the temperature indicator on the fan stayed at 36, in between 36 and 35, but it didn't go over that temperature. So I would say this test was quite successful and it is really a good idea to get this Ulanzi fan. And that's it folks for this video. I really hope you did enjoy that. And if you have any questions or any anything about the fan that you might want to know, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.